$15.99 special unlimited. Me and my sister both got one. And then we ordered um dessert. You called? You called? Yeah. We called because the man told us because I gave a plate of shrimp to my brother. He told us we gotta pay for him eating it. That's not what they special say. If you go look at their means, it don't tell you that's like you eating and you give something to your sister or your friend. It don't tell you nowhere on there if you shut this a food, then they eat. charge this a 15. It say it's unlimited. unlimited. All right. He told he us because we, can't we share shared. food. We, he, they charged us for every person that ate at the table. You can't do that because it don't say that. Talking about some oh, um, Well, I'm you telling you, where my phone that. at? Because I recorded it. Can the girl behind us will tell you. You you can't tell us that we ordered it. It don't say if you this only for one person. It say $15.99. Per person unlimited. It don't say fifteen ninety nine. So what do you think it is? But no, sir. He he told us because he ate. I gave him my plate of shrimp. He told me he charged because he seen our shrimp. You can't tell me if I don't want to eat some that I can't give it to but nobody. You guys are to play the system. I get where you're coming from. You know, but you know we wasn't. Okay, you're paying one fifteen ninety nine so three adults can eat the one. It's multiple. It's multiple things. It's, it's endless. 15, but I'm thinking myself. But it's endless. It's it doesn't it's say per they, okay. they limit how you much you can get. It, 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 it doesn't it say it that. No, sir, they should. They should say that. I'm gonna be honest. If you saying that, you should say per person. It doesn't say per person. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say per person no though. It does. It just say fifteen. Uh, and my thing is, if he charged us for three, he's trying to charge us for everybody at the table. You can't oh, no, do that. So you're trying to do the fifteen ninety nine. So oh, every right. single one of you right for fifteen ninety nine. The way that right says back. is just fifteen ninety nine unlimited. Give you three options. It's one thing he tried to charge us one, two, and three. Carter, stop, TT man, stop. Okay? I'll take him back in the other room. Just take him back in there. $15.99 per person. It says it right there. Okay, that's one thing. That's what I just said. And for us three adults. Okay. We ordered the kids so some. He's sitting here insulting me, talking about we're fucking savages. We should be ashamed of our fucking selves and all this. First of all, this ain't your situation to speak on. And don't say nothing to me. You fucking own your shit. Enough. Are you being warned for disorderly conduct? Sure. Shalom, 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 all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of our Heavenly Father, meaning He is, Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, meaning He is our salvation, who the world is ignorantly calls Jesus a so-called black man, okay? And what you seen was a clip or a piece 
of a whole footage of an incident that took place at an Applebee's because of a sign that Eve misread that says, all you can eat $15.99. So she took it as if it was saying that if you pay $15.99, you can give whatever food that you don't want to whoever else is in your party, okay? But as the police officer pointed out to her, it said $15.99 per individual, okay? And that was the whole premise on why she called the police because she thought the establishment was, you know, being unreasonable by not letting her let her brother and her sister eat off her plate that she paid $15.99 for, okay? So that was the reason that Eve, the so-called black woman, called the police in the first place because they felt as if the establishment was being unfair to them. But as the officer pointed out, it said clearly on the menu that it's per person, okay? And then you had her sister come out, you know, irate and upset that one of the patrons called her a savage because they're trying to get over on the establishment by only going in there and paying for one person trying to eat off the plate of, you know, that individual, okay? And then the officer gave her ample amount of times to, you know, keep quiet. And even her sister couldn't keep her quiet, okay? So what happened? The officer ended up arresting her, all right? Which goes into what? <clears throat> St. Matthew 5 and 25. Quickly, you know, uh, let's go there. St. Matthew 5 and 25. Okay, it reads what? Agree with thy adversary quickly. So the officer told you to keep quiet, man. You see? But this is a issue that Eve has. Eve is you know loud and clamorous okay she wants to be and has to feel vindicated if she thinks somebody has done her wrong all the while she was in the wrong because she misread the the menu all right it says agree with thy adversary quickly whilst thou art in the way with him right so she should have just put a you know she should have just zipped it and put it in a bag but she still tried to get the last word okay and that's the nature of the so-called black woman, man. Always have to get the last word, all right? You see her brother wasn't saying nothing, and her sister was trying to, you know, calm her down. But even they couldn't do anything. So what ended up happening, she had to go be put in handcuffs, taken into the car, and then told to shut up if you watch the movie, and then she finally got it. But by that time, she was already heading, already on her way to being locked up. So it says, while thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge and the judge deliver thee to the officer and thou be cast into prison. Right, so she probably had to spend the rest of the night, you know, sitting in jail. Although it was a misdemeanor, it could have been avoided if she would have just listened and took directions, okay? But trying to be, you know, presumptuous and, and loud mouth and clamorous, that ended up, that ended up putting her in handcuffs. And that's going back to the precept that I wanted to start off with in Proverbs 9 and verse 13. It reads what? A foolish woman is clamorous. Okay, let's look up that word clamorous. We go into the Hebrew and that word is Strong's H 1993 Hama. Hama. And one of the outline or some of the outline biblical usage is to murmur, growl, roar, cry, aloud, mourn, rage, sound, make noise, tumult, be clamorous, be disquieted, be loud, be moved, be troubled, be in an uproar. And these are all things that she was exhibiting, you know. Why? Because she couldn't get the last word, all right? And she was triggered by what the, you know, uh, so-called white couple said to her when they was coming out, that they're savages, okay? And she felt as if the officer didn't vindicate her by, you know, saying something to that couple, okay? But what happened? That couple just kept it moving, man, 
all right? Said what they had to say. They didn't stop and engage in a conversation that warrant them having to be, you know, uh, corrected. They just kept it, kept it moving. Eve, you know, flipped, lost it, and she went out. And she couldn't even see in her rage and her murmuring that she was given directives and she didn't, you know, uh, she she failed to, uh, you know, comply with. So what happened? She ended up getting put in, put in handcuffs. All right. So let's go back. Proverbs 9 and verse 13. It says a foolish woman is clamorous. Right. You hear arguing over something that you didn't take the time to, you know, do your due diligence and read. OK, because it didn't have to come to this level of calling the police if you read the menu correctly and said and see that it said what per individual okay now you're not going to try to get over on the system and try to you know put as much food on your plate that you want to try to give it to your brother and your sister because you don't want to pay the additional 15.99 and what happened they ended up paying it anyways in the long run <clears throat> okay and i think the bill came out to 105 dollars all right so all this could have been avoided so it says a foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing, right? You know, you can't tell Eve nothing, man. You can't tell her, you know, even her own sister and her brother tried to calm her down, you know, but she was somehow, you know, stoked and went into a rage because of what was said, okay? That they, that they were a savage, all right? And Hey, even if they said that, <laughs> you have to know how to take it and move on, man. But that's the nature of the woman. The woman is emotional, okay? So she let her emotions get the better of her and ended up being handcuffed, all right? Whether you agree with it or not. It says what? We read it, Matthew 5 and 25. Agree with thy adversary quickly, okay? This is the part that, you know, you have to use wisdom, Okay? You was found to be in the wrong. You misread, you know, the literature that was on the menu. And, hey, hey, what can you say? All right? Just take it and move on. Let it, you know, take it and stride and move on. Don't sit here and try to argue. Get the last word. But that's Eve. They want to get the last word, man. So it says, verse 14, For she sitteth at the door of her house on a seat in the high places of the city. Right, you can't tell them nothing because they're on a high horse, man. They know everything, okay? They're never wrong, all right? They're never wrong. They're beyond uh, reproach, okay? They have it. They got everything. They got all the answers to everything, all right? They figured it out before they came to the establishment, how they was going to, you know, uh, uh, sort it out. One person was going to go and order, and the other person was going to eat off that person's plate, Okay? Whether it was a, you know, honest mishap or whether they planned out to do it on purpose. You know, you can't tell them anything, even in the wrong, okay? They still try to justify. It says, verse 15, to call passengers who go right on their ways, right? So as those, you know, Edomites presumably walk by them and, you know, call them savages because, you know, Esau is the true savage, but, you know, in the condition that we in, it tells us that I have seen what? Servants on horses and princes on the ground. Meaning that what? In this current condition that we in, we are looked at as, as peasants and the peasants, the true peasants, as looked at as, you know, those being on a high horse. That's in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10. In verse 7, it says, I have seen servants upon horses. Right, so those that are supposed to be servants, they're put in a position of authority by sitting on top of a horse. So that's the pot calling the kettle black because Esau truly is that servant, okay? But in his kingdom, he's looked at as, you know, someone that's reputable, okay? So it says, I have seen service upon horses and princes. Who is that? You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans walking as servants upon the earth, right? So we are in a low estate right now, okay, because of our disobedience, all right? And you see it being played out day in and day out, all right? 
all you have to do is just you know look up and go on either any type of uh news site or media and you're gonna see it okay jake is in folly man and we're gonna be like this until yahweh shai comes back okay now the one third the elect we are trying to do something about it you know turn back to the father but the two thirds they're not going to get it until you know a hey, judgment comes okay so it says i have seen service upon horses and princes walking as service upon the earth back to proverbs 9 and 13 it says a foolish woman is clamorous right loud murmuring talking whether she correct or wrong it says what she is simple don't know anything okay except for how to run her mouth and knoweth nothing for she sitteth at the door of her house on a seat in the high places of the city to call passengers who go right on their ways right so the passengers was these customers you know they was going on their ways and she had to call them out you know she couldn't let them go you know she had to be confrontational all right she wanted to go in there and confront them and you know sometimes you just have to let that stuff go in one ear and out the other okay but hey it's 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 too hard for the woman to do that because you know the woman is the weaker vessel man she's emotionally she's driven by her emotions okay so hey especially in the state of our women you know hey that's why you have to use wisdom exactly who you dealing with man okay because the so-called black woman man she is you know emotionally charged man especially having the back end of esau edom you know but what once this uh officer put her into handcuffs hey she snapped right out of it man <laughs> you see if you let the video play a little longer you know and she asked him she go home and why she's arrested because the officer told her because you won't shut your mouth and then he told her to shut up and then she got it and then she finally shut up but by that time it was too late okay verse 16 who is simple let him turn in hither and as for him that wanteth understanding she say to him stolen waters are sweet and bread eaten is secret is pleasant 18 but he knoweth not that the dead are there and that her guests are in the depths of hell right so if you continue to argue with this woman you're gonna end up finding yourself in the same predicament as her okay simple as she is man that's why you have to let hey you dealing with eve man don't pay her no mind for the most part you know you hey you hear her but you don't hear her because then you end up going back and forth with it, then you're going to look just as simple as she is, man. All right? So, you know, that's going to be it. Not going to make it too long. We're going to wrap it up, close out in First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. And it says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. You know, and if you get into it and back and forth with Eve, man, hey, you ain't gonna look no more smarter than she is, man. That's why you just gotta ignore her, man. And just stay away from her, you know, as much as possible. Okay? Move with discernment, all right? You know, you know the so-called black woman, man, she's just she's she whatever type of attention she can get. And garnish whether it's positive or negative she'll take it man all right so you have to just be sober man know exactly you know who you dealing with out there when you in the world you know you dealing with a, a woman you know especially a so-called black woman you know whether it's on your day-to-day -day basis whether you coming and going hey man you have to understand <laughs> these women for the most part they simple man okay you know for the most part they're simple all right they're foolish they're clamorous all right it don't take much to get their emotions stoked man all right so you have to know and let things go you know especially being the, the stronger vessel you know just ignore that stuff man and try to avoid them as much as possible all right you, know, you can't avoid them completely especially if you out and about you know you may run into one of them at the movie theaters you know taking your money uh giving you popcorn a cashier or what have you but you have to understand you know hey at any time 
they can go off on you, man. <laughs> All right. And it ain't nothing personal. It's just their nature. It's just how they is, especially under this captivity, man. All right. So be sober, be vigilant. Don't, don't look to engage with Eve, man. All right. Let her go about her business. All right. Because if so, you're going to find yourself in a deeper world of trouble than you would if you would have just ignored her. All right. You've seen it. Okay. She don't even take orders or comply with what the officer says until it's too late. So how much more you, a regular Jake, who she feels that she has no, you know, need to respect you as a man. So just be sober and be vigilant. All right. Keep it moving. All right. It says, because your adversary, the devil, and yes, the so-called black woman on this side, for the most part, is your adversary because she is in total opposition of what the word says. Although she comes off as a God-fearing woman, you know, if you really try to go into the scriptures and break it down with her, which I strongly, highly recommend you that you don't do that because from past experience, you're going to find up, you're going to find yourself getting a headache, man, and it ain't worth it. All right. It's not worth it. Trust me. So it says, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk up about seeking whom he may devour, you know, and hey, that's all she wants, man. She wants to devour you. She wants to take your energy and, you know, uh, de uh, decimate it, man. All right. She wants to feed off your energy. OK. And you can't give her that. All right. Let her be, man. You've seen it. <laughs> You've seen it. Whether she right or wrong, in her mind, she's always right. All right? So just let her be that way, man. Let her soak in her own misery, man. All right? Just ignore her. Okay? So be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, which is speaking primarily of Esau, Edom, but it could come in other forms, man. It could come in a form of, of a woman. It could come in a form of Jake, you know, whoever. Okay? It says, as a roaring lion, walk up about seeking whom he, in this case, she may devour. You know, if you get and engage in a conversation or argument or debate with a man, hey, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> you know, just walk away, man. Don't even don't even entertain a thought in the first place. All right. You're better off not trying to put yourself on that on that type of level with her. She's not deep. She don't know anything, you know. And it's just going to bring too much headaches, man. So just let it go. All right. So that's going to be it. We're going to wrap it up with that. You know, pray someone was edified through this lesson. And until the next time, if it be the Lord's will, stay strong, stay in the faith. We almost home. Shalom. Peace.